Hello there, fellow supervisor. Harvey here. I am having breakfast in a very, very humid morning. I'm smoking bald headed teacher, bald headed teacher from Four Noggins. And all day smoke this blend for sure. And I would like to get into the the topic of um, how did it um, reach um, the choice of um, be being either a rich jerk or a nice poor guy. Now, first of all, allow me, indulge me to hammer that question. I would like to argue that the question is ill po, -po. And let me um, allow me to argue as it follows. It will be hard to actually make a choice between those two because there are two extreme cases that I think rarely occur. And why is that? Because I would argue that everybody, everybody, everybody who you would consider to be a nice guy is a jerk for somebody. And likewise, a jerk, for most people, have to be <laughs> a nice guy for somebody. Have you noticed how flexible or how tolerant we might be for people that we know and kind of behave like a jerk? <laughs> and you kind of overlook that and you say, yeah, whatever, I mean, everybody has um, their bad days and you're kind of forgiven. And I'm not, not um, especially when you share with other friends about other friends, like, oh, he or she, so, damn. And and then you realize, like, yeah, actually, perhaps, but, but still my friend, so uh, what the heck, or my family or whatever. I'm not trying to be a smart man here, so if I have to make a choice, I think the choice would be, and once again, I'm sorry if I'm reading wrong between the lines, but if I have to make a choice, the choice would be between if I'm a poor guy and consider myself um, a good person, a good guy, and in order to have more money, no matter no matter if, I, if I'm poor, but no matter what's my financial status but situation but if if I'm an, at this point in my life where I'm have X amount of money and in order to have um, more I have to bless you <laughs> Veronica is having allergies or something the AC is too cold <laughs> what am I doing what? <laughs> um, well in all fairness yeah <laughs> there is a thermal set here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> in order, in order to become rich, in order to have more money, I have to abandon some principles that somehow make make me a better person. I will say no. I will abandon them. Even if I'm rich, and in order to become richer, I have to. Abandon some principles. I said no, and not, not to not to antagonize with with Sean, the wandering recluse. I I think, think, think the premise that happiness there is a correlation between happiness and money. I, I grant you that, but um, I think you you your or what you were talking were. Again, two extremes. Uh, I think if you're 
below some level of, of, of um, income, uh, your happiness it's it's totally dependent on money because if you don't have the money to have healthcare or, or food or or a roof, uh, of course it actually depends entirely on, on money. And, but if you go to the extreme too, extremely rich people and celebrities. Uh, anybody could easily argue that they are not happy at all and, and somehow it's related with money either because you have power, you don't want to lose it, you don't want to lose money, you want to have more money, whatever. There is, there is a wide, really, really wide range of income in which you actually can be happy without depending on money. And, and not to be non-materialistic, but I think that's the issue there that's the real issue you might have been extremely happy because you were in that range right where money actually doesn't buy happiness but it doesn't become an issue and you you live happy with what you have you're not like oh yeah I have this X amount of money so I want to have a better car no, or I want to travel or I want to you name it okay enough ramble yay excellent question as all my friends puff away